Hey, what is going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video. And oh boy, oh boy. Um, so many things, so many things. Uh, I'm back, obviously. It's been a while, there's been a lot of stuff going on, but in my brief absence, a casting was announced. Um,. <laughs> And oh boy, oh boy. Right when they, they said, oh, we ain't going to change any things that are specifically ethnicities, they do it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, let's recap this. Let's recap this for a second, okay? Two years ago, I made a video... Some would say it was quite controversial. I even had a talking to with a couple of my friends about it. Um, because I was very, very pissed off about the Ariel casting. Um, and like I said, it had nothing to do with the actor whatsoever. It was the fact that the character was specifically written to be a redhead white character. Uh, which... Of course, um, there's only a 2% population of natural born redheads, as well as we're seeing a lot of redheads even since the aerial casting or even before the aerial casting of legacy redhead characters being changed. Um, and this is something that has upset me. Um, and um, for anybody who, I mean, I don't want to get into specifics, but, um, you know, all I got to say, there's a reason why we have a redhead in Rewind Rumble. Um, but, anyways, so, uh, So, so here's the thing, okay. Here's the thing, okay. So two years ago, we talked about the source material and characters being specifically written a certain way. And it's very important for the characters to stay that way. Um... And then, of course, create new characters, you know, that can be diversified and whatnot. And that's all good. Um, but taking legacy characters and changing them is just wrong. And especially, you know, the one Disney princess that is a redhead. Um, you know, um, I think was ridiculous. Um, but again, you know, that was two years ago. Um, and one of the biggest takebacks about that was the argument was, well, Ariel, you know, they never mentioned in the Disney movie that she's specifically white. You know, they never mentioned, you know, specifically she has red hair, even though that's what we see on screen. Um, and that's what the creator's intent was, um, you know why it was very very essential for the aladdin live action movie to not kind of really kind of try to have will smith imitate robin williams because you can't imitate robin williams um however the genie character itself was written to be like robin williams um so it's respecting the source uh, and Will Smith tried to do that to the best he could, but also kind of do his own thing with it as well uh, for the majority of it. And it worked out very good. Um, and it was, in my opinion, the best Disney remake that was ever done um, so far to this day. I, I don't think, like, I've seen a bunch of different Disney remakes. I mean, there's a couple I haven't seen, but out of them all, um, Aladdin's the best. 
re, uh, live action remake. Like if if I was to recommend anyone a live action remake um, movie, I I would tell them to go watch Aladdin because that, I, in my opinion, was the best one they did. Um, it does have some problems with it, but it's the best one out of them all, and it was the one that concerned me going in the most. So I mean, <laughs> you know, that just tells you uh, in itself. But that's really besides like this Snow White thing. Okay, and I'm disappointed with some of these people too. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to a certain someone in a second. Um. So. Snow White was now casted to a Latino. Um. Uh, people are saying that she's half white, half Latino, but I mean, she does look more Latino um, than than her being white. But that's beside the point. That really doesn't matter to me. Uh, what matters to me is in the story of Snow White, she specifically it's specifically stated that she's snower than white. Okay, and yeah, some people will, like say, oh well. They, they can't be that white, you know, you can't have a person be that white. Well, okay, but you could still cast a Caucasian to be Snow White like she was intended to be because that was the creator's intent uh, from German, uh, which is where the fairy tale, you know, originated. Um, so, again, it's spitting in the face of the source material. Um, and... You know, I find it hilarious because, um, you know, um, I find it hilarious because two years ago, people were saying that, you know, again, Ariel was not essential to the plot, or, you know, Ariel being a white redhead was not essential to the story. Well, guess what? Snow White is essential to the story because it's specifically stated she's white, Okay. And you just casted a Latino to be a character that's specifically stated to be in white. So, yeah, there's a there's there's a goddamn problem. Um, and what's weird about this, and I'll get into Mrs. Rachel Ziegler. Um, I hope I'm saying her last name right. I probably ain't, but I don't care. That's how I'm gonna say it. So, you know, just deal with it at this point. Um, um, I'm going to get into her because, um, quite frankly, I'm going to say it. She's an asshole. Okay. She's, she's an asshole. I'm just going to say it right now. She's a, she's an asshole. All right. Um, she's 20 years old. She's clearly had her spoon fed to her, uh, to everyone because she's been handed everything on a silver platter. It's clear as day. Because she's cocky and um, can't really say that about the other actors. Like, you know, Halle Bailey, at least, you know, she learned, um, you know, the ropes and stuff like that. She wasn't handed anything. But this person clearly has been handed opportunities. And the way she talks on Twitter, which, by the way, ever since she's been casted as Snow White, uh, literally, people have been showing like archives of tweets that she's been saying. She's said a lot of instance. In, 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 she said a lot of insensitive tweets to a lot of people, which is going to make her public enemy number one. And this person is a new actor, like in terms of being a new movie star Hollywood actor. She is new. Okay, she's making her movie debut like this year with the West Side movie uh, that's being done by Steven Spielberg. And um, honestly, after the shit she said uh, these past two days, I think that movie's going to flop because of her. Because to me, from the tweets I've read that she has said, um, she's probably on track to being probably one of the more hated actresses since Brie Larson. Okay, and Brie Larson is like a seasoned actor before she was in Captain Marvel. Okay, this Rachel has not even 
really got started with her career and she's already gotten people to hate her um so she made a tweet which was deleted later uh about how she said and quote yes i am snow white and no i don't even think she said it. uh she didn't even put the an in there it's like no i'm not bleaching my uh skin to get the role end quote um she later deleted this tweet because guess what it's a racist tweet all right i was telling people it's like that was if if that had been the other way around that would have been considered racist okay that was a racist tweet she just pulled out and she knows it because she deleted it uh she knows it uh well maybe she doesn't know it but disney and obviously her agent or whoever like runs it for her uh deleted the tweet or had her delete the tweet because you know she's making herself public enemy number one already right off the bat uh and she hasn't even made she hasn't even made her movie debut yet okay so yeah any amount of interest of me wanting to go see this movie which i wasn't that big of a snow white fan like i said i was more of a little mermaid fan um you know as a kid so that would have been more of my interest well aladdin little mermaid you know obviously lion king you know those those movies toy story obviously they're not making a live action toy story because that just wouldn't even make sense but um well, i've got a knock on wood but uh <laughs> i doubt they're gonna make one of that um but uh yeah um she is just i don't even know what to say like she's very unprofessional she's 20 years old so she's young obviously immature but she's clearly been she's clearly been fed like like and handed stuff on a silver platter because no one the tweets she has said that are surfacing does not sound like someone that would be humbled um about getting a role um and so even if i was remotely interested even though i don't agree with the casting it just got thrown out the window with her like literally acting like an unprofessional asshole uh on social media like like even if anyone is remotely interested like i don't think people are gonna want to see someone that acts the way she acts um and i can't even repeat the tweets i can't even repeat the tweet she has said you guys just got to go look them up yourself like she said some asinine tweets in the past like you know um like it's just ridiculous man like um just it's insane and you know I, I know she she hates donald trump uh i don't like donald trump either but geez man you gotta you gotta stop it with that stuff <laughs> like like geez like uh, like I, I like i said i can't even repeat half the shit she said like on twitter um but um anyways um So, I also want to just make a quick note of this, too, um, because, obviously, um, this is going to be, you know, I am one to call out people when it needs to be called out, um, and we're going to get to that in a second, because I also have to bring up, um, too, some misconceptions. There's a bunch of stuff I got to talk about. Okay. So first, let's talk about the misconceptions of this whole, the Snow White thing. So a lot of people are under the impression that Steven Spielberg is like the producer of the Snow White remake or whatever, live action remake. Um, that is actually false. That is not actually true. Um, and this was reported, and this is vastly... This is vastly because a lot of the news outlets that reported Rachel Ziegler uh, being Snow White uh, kind of misworded uh, the articles. 
uh, and this is why a lot of the people that are reporting this are getting confused, and even I did uh, until I did a little more digging on it. Steven Spielberg does not work for Disney, okay? Um, Steven Spielberg casted Rachel Ziegler in the West Side uh, movie that's coming out this year. Um, and that's the movie that Steven Spielberg and Rachel Ziegler are involved in. Rachel Ziegler and Steven Spielberg are not involved in the Snow White movie. Only Rachel Ziegler is. Okay? So, this was completely misworded. Um, now, that being said, uh, the Steven Spielberg film that Rachel Ziegler was casted in, the West Side movie, uh, that movie may have, well, what, it, I'm almost certain it did, uh, led to um, her getting in touch with Disney and Disney executives and ultimately allowed her to be uh, casted as Snow White. But Steven Spielberg is not actually involved in that film, okay? He did not make the casting decision uh, for that for that for the Snow White role. Um, he casted her in the West Side movie that's coming out this year because that's his movie but uh, that he's doing, but he has no involvement in the Snow White uh, remake. Um, now, I got into some arguments with some people about, well, they casted her because of her talent, you know, because she can sing and she can um, act, uh, and that was the reason why she was cast as Snow White, which I don't have an issue with that, um, like I said, you know, the most talented person really should get the job, but at the same time, I don't believe that, okay? I don't believe that that's the reason. I think this was a, polit a politician cast. Um, I do believe this was a politician cast because of the timing of it and because of everything that's going on in the world right now. Um, I don't think... She, like I said, I'm not saying that she isn't a good singer, okay? I'm not saying that she isn't a talented singer and she's not a talented actor, okay? But I don't buy that, okay? And she may have had a good audition. I'm not saying that she did, but I, you're going to tell me that there's not someone that was Caucasian that could have auditioned for that role and could have acted and could have sang, okay? You're really going to tell me that? You're, you're really going to tell me that. Because I don't believe it. Sorry. There are a lot of young... Especially since she, they got someone who's, like, young. She's 20. So, like, you're telling me there's not young, upcoming Caucasian actors that that can sing and act that are in their, you know, 20... That are 20, uh, early 20s. You're telling me... You're really going to tell me that? Um, yeah, okay. Um, but whatever, you know, you know, the talent, you know, it's what it is, what it is, but I don't believe that. I don't believe that was the reason. Um, I also want to bring up because I said, I alluded to this earlier and I really wanted to bring this up and I wanted to get those, these points out. Um, I want to bring this up because like I said earlier, and I alluded to earlier, I call people out when even if i like them the good bad even i like them and the guy i'm about to call out i'm actually subscribed to and i'm very disappointed with his video on this topic i'm very disappointed with it i'm going to talk about it uh and i'm subscribed to this guy he's a very professional youtuber and is why i like them I, I still do like him, but I am kind of a little upset and a little kind of agitated about it. So John Campy, um, you know, good Hollywood insider video, uh, YouTuber, has a good studio and all that stuff, very professional work. So he made a video, and I can't really fault him about the Steven Spielberg thing because 
again, that was a kind of variety in a lot of the news outlets that really kind of misworded the article on the whole Steven Spielberg thing because he has no involvement in Snow White. That was, you know, he, he casted her in the West Side movie, which is the movie that he's doing that uh, comes out this year. Um, now, that could have led to her getting the role in Snow White, you know, of her being casted by Steven Spielberg uh, in the other movie, but it had no real influence on you know he, he he had no like involvement on her being cast in that movie for that particular snow white movie um so john basically um two years ago and i remember it because i watch your videos dude i watch your videos and you're not watching my videos because you know i'm not as big as you but um I've watched your videos, dude, and I know what you said two years ago. I know what you said two years ago. And feel free for anybody in the comment section to find the video about the Ariel stuff uh, because he talked about it. I remember it. I distinctly remember this. And I'm very disappointed with his video he made about Snow White. Why am I disappointed with that video that he made? Because he basically, you could tell, he didn't agree with what he was saying. But he still went with it. Just because. Um, two years ago, when the aerial casting happened, or even when uh, Commissioner Gordon was cast, that was another video he talked about, uh, for the Batman casting. He said, he said, you know, it's not, in, it's not essential to the plot not essential to the plot you know he was what he was saying about ariel that was what he was saying about commissioner gordon uh being casted as african americans um over you know being you know they're you know being white like the, the, you know the character always has been you know in the source material okay in his response to uh rachel ziegler being uh snow white he goes on, he was like, you know, I trust Steven Spielberg, you know, you know, and, and doesn't even address the elephant in the room of the fact that Snow White is supposed to be white. She's supposed to be white. It's specifically in the source material, but oh, we don't hear the whole, oh, it's not in central to the plot anymore we didn't hear we, we heard that with commissioner gordon we heard that with ariel you said him in your videos buddy don't try to deny it but you're not watching this video anyways but in case in case he is um you said it and then you go on and do that 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 pissed me off and i'm a subscriber to him but you guys know i'm you know when someone does that dumb shit i'm gonna i'm gonna call him out on it like that just that just really that just really irritated me when someone just blatantly be, be, is a hypocrite like that. Blatantly, uh, uh, you know, and just tries to hide it and brush it off. Um, so that pissed me off. Um, but, yeah. Um, yeah, guys. Um, my thoughts on this. Um, like I said, the movie I don't think is going to do good. Um, I think it's going to bomb, but you know, with Disney, I, Disney's got so many things ever since the Mulan movie. I mean, that, that another, another Disney movie I loved, by the way, uh, the cartoon movie and they ruined it. Um, so they've ruined Mulan for me. They've ruined, well, they ruined the Lion King, the Lion King, the Lion King movie sucked. Uh, it was, it wasn't that good. Um, you know, too. Um, you know the you know the animation or whatever they were doing was stupid. Uh, you know, not you know, <laughs> freaking whatever. Uh, Ariel's gonna suck um, because they're gonna completely change everything. Um, I believe Snow White's gonna suck. I, I don't really care as much Snow White as I do for Ariel though or Little Mermaid. Um, yeah.
<laughs> yeah, it's just it's really unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. Um, the only like I said, the only one that was good that I I really enjoyed was the Aladdin movie, and at least we got that. I guess. <laughs> I mean, jeez. <laughs> You know, they <laughs> and the funny thing about the Aladdin movie, you you know damn sure they made sure that they got all the characters casted right in that movie. Well, with the exception of the the like the the five second uh white prince uh, prince or whatever that everyone complained about, even though he was only in the movie for like two scenes or some shit. Uh, <laughs> you know, it was the only thing. <laughs> It was so dumb. Because he was from a different land, so it didn't even matter that he was white. Because he was because they literally said he was a prince he was a prince from a different land. So I mean like you know, just god damn, it's just so dumb. All this crap is dumb these days. They just they gotta just they just gotta they just gotta keep doing this crap. Like it's like like you know, blaming Blaming guys like me for stuff that Hollywood did 40, 50 years ago that we had no control over. All right. Yes, we don't like whitewashing. I hate whitewashing. I've condemned, you know, the, you know, a lot of the whitewashing films that have been, you know, done. You know, the, the last Airbender film, for example, which was terrible, uh, but plot wise, but also casting wise. <laughs> Uh, with the way they did it, but, you know, um, you know, it's just like Hollywood's just gonna like, you know, punish. It feels like we're being punished for something that we didn't do. Does it not? Like, we didn't do any of this stuff. So why are we getting attacked for it? You know, like, it's just ridiculous. Like, um... And I just, I'm just so sick of it, man. Like, I'm sure I'm going to get some, I'm sure I'm going to get some Nimrod that's going to comment on here and, and attack me for it too, you know, um, you know, like I did last time when I, when I, when I talked about Ariel, okay, you know, and not actually have an intelligent conversation, you know, Oh, oh, you 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 shouldn't do that. Oh, you're ra you're racist. I, I got accused of being one on Instagram by someone who I actually know knew, and it really pissed me off. Okay, because of the whole Ariel thing. Okay, I mean that's how that's how idiotic these things are. It's it's ridiculous, man. You know, as someone who wants equality, you know, I just posted on my Instagram, you know, a couple of days ago about Juneteenth Day. You know how important it is, and people are you know gonna attack me about a freaking goddamn fictional character, you know, because I don't agree with the casting based on the source material, man. Like, come on, like, I mean, that's how ridiculous uh, society has gotten now. Okay, you know. Um, but yeah, that's what I gotta say. That's kind of my piece on this. Uh, that I wanted to address, just kind of try to address everything, uh, really that's been going on with this for the past two days. Um, that's all I, I gotta say. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, comment rate. Uh, all that stuff or whatever. Um, you know. And that's really all I gotta say. You know, subscribe if you want. Uh, all the new viewers that are coming in, non, you know, viewers that are non-subscribers, subscribe and all that stuff. Um, bell for all the latest content. I'm the S Ultimate Goku. I'm out of here. Peace.